So I do already have a video on how to win off antidepressants, but a lot of people have been asking specifically, how do I win off metazapine? Now metazapine, as you know, is an antidepressant which is used for depression, anxiety, and other conditions such as obsessive compulsive disorder, as well as sleep. Now metazapine belongs to a class of tetracyclic antidepressants. It has many properties. It can work as an SSRI, like your SSRIs include your citalopram, your fluoxetines, your sertralines and your paroxetine, but it is not a traditional SSRI and that's because it contains other receptors such as your histamine receptors which is good for sleep. So you find that at lower doses of metazapine it helps with sleep whereas at higher doses it helps with depression and anxiety. So for example lower doses of metazapine would be 7.5 milligrams and your 15 milligram dose which is useful for sleep. So the lower the dose the better it works for sleep. While for your depression, your anxiety and your OCD we're talking 30 milligrams and 45 milligrams of metazapine. Now usually when your doctor starts your metazapine your doctor will start you at the lowest dose which is usually the 15 milligram dose which helps with anxiety and depression and gradually your doctor will titrate the metazapine according to how your response to the medication. So for instance, if your doctor starts you on 15 milligrams, you would expect this to kick in within one to two weeks. So in most people, you normally say within two weeks is when they start feeling the effects of the metazapine. So your doctor will now increase from 15 to 30, and after another week or two, your doctor can consider increasing to 45 milligrams. When you get to the 45 milligrams of metazapine, it works brilliantly for depression and anxiety, but not so much for sleep. So you might find yourself even more alert with metazapine at 45 milligram dose, whereas at the 15 or 7.5 milligram dose, you find that it actually helps with sleep. And this is the reason why metazapine is taken at night time and not during the day. Now, metazapine does not come in a 7.5 milligram tablet. So what you would usually have to do is break off the 15 milligram into half to get your 7.5 milligram tablet, which helps with sleep. Like any other medication, metazapine does have its side effects. As you know, it helps with sleep, so it can cause you to feel drowsy, more sleepy during the day, more groggy. Some people have mentioned having numbness or tingling with metazapine feeling more tired. But one of the main side effects of metazapine is that it can cause weight gain, which means it does boost your appetite. So while it's perfect for skinny people, not so good if you're a bit on a plump side. Now you want to win off the metazapine. A lot of people have their own reasons for wanting to win off metazapine. It could be that you've been on the drug for quite a long time now, you're much better, your depression or anxiety have resolved, and you want to come off the medication, or maybe you're a woman, you're thinking of getting pregnant and you do not want to stay on metazapine, even though you've been told that metazapine has no effects on the baby, but you do not want to take the risk because a small risk is a risk. Or it could be that you've tried the metazapine and it just hasn't worked for you, either it hasn't helped with your symptoms of whether it's sleep, anxiety or depression, or the side effects, which usually tends to go off after two weeks, have persisted. So in terms of weight enough, I would assume that you're on the highest dose of metazapine, which is the 45 milligram dose. Now do bear in mind that when considering winning off, the half-life of metazapine is about 20 to 40 hours, which depends on the dose. So the higher the dose, the longer the half-life would be. And even after coming off the metazapine, the drug can stay a few days or weeks in your body. So for example, if you've been on metazapine for many weeks or months, you'd expect that metazapine will leave your system not within days, but within weeks. So if you're on a 45 milligram dose of metazapine and you want to win off the medication, you can drop down to 30 milligram dose, stay on 30 milligrams for about two weeks. Then after two weeks, you can drop down to a 15 milligram dose, stay on a 15 milligram dose for two weeks. Then after two weeks, you might consider breaking half of the 15 milligram to get the 7.5 milligram tablet, stay on the 7.5 milligram tablet for another two weeks, and then you can come off the medication. Or what you can do is take the 7.5 milligram tablet on alternate days. So rather than taking it every day for two weeks, you can take it on alternate days, which would be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And then you can do this for two weeks and then stop the medication. Now, doing this helps you to avoid the withdrawal side effects that you would get with stopping antidepressants, which could be feeling more sweaty, feeling nauseous, feeling shaky, headaches, tremors, and all these nasty side effects. However, there is a possibility that no matter what you do, you might get some withdrawal side effects. So we normally advise to persist because in a lot of cases, these side effects do tend to grow off on its own. However, if these side effects remain persistent, you might need to go back on the metazapine. So go back on the lowest dose, which would be the 7.5 milligram dose. Rather than coming off after two weeks, you might need to come off this after a month. So again, you can choose whether to do this every day or on alternate days and then stay on this for about a month, which is four weeks, and come off the medication. So winning off metazapine can be done whether you're on a 45, 30, 15, or 7.5 milligram dose. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to share, like, and subscribe.